welcome back to the blog. And for those of you who are new here, I'm Samantha. I post content on travel, poetry, coffee reviews, lifestyle, and more every Sunday night right here on the blog. And this post is actually our first post of the first season in 2023. And for those of you who have been following the blog for a long time, you know that my first post is always about my new manifest. Every new year, I come up with a new manifest list which is basically a list of my New Year's resolutions, goals and other achievements I want to accomplish in the new year. These goals are typically divided among nine categories, such as family, friends, work, money, travel, and a few others. I've been manifesting for a couple of years now, and I've always shared them here on the blog. This is my first one in video format, so bear with me. This is also my first one where I'm trying a slightly different formula. I'm still going to be listing off goals I have for each of the nine categories that I've always had, but I'm also going to pick one goal from previous years per category to have again in 2023. I haven't always accomplished everything I set out in my manifest lists. So I recently went back through a couple of the old ones that I've done and have picked one from each category to try again to actually accomplish in 2023. So each category is going to have two goals for me in this new year. I think having these categories really helped me specify what I wanted to accomplish in specific areas of my life. If you're looking for a better way to organize your New Year's resolutions list, I would highly recommend it. And here are the categories that I use for my manifest list. Number one, family. So these are goals that involve you and your family. Like I said, I have two. A previous one that I've had on an older list was to travel with my brother. As you guys know, I am a big traveler. I've been all over the country and a handful of international destinations as well. But I've never been able to go anywhere with just me and my brother. He's always been kind of a homebody and travel has taught me a lot and shown me a lot about this crazy world that we live in and I would love the opportunity to share everything that I learned with him. I think he would get a lot out of it and I would really enjoy the bonding experience. My next family goal surrounds my whole family, my mom, my dad, and my brother, and it's to have monthly family dates. My brother is away at college right now, but I live in the same city that I grew up in, in Oklahoma. My parents are still here, and because I still live so close to them, I want to take this opportunity to see them more often. I want to make myself available to visit my family and either have a family dinner or go out to see a movie or do some other activity that we all enjoy. After family, the next category on my manifest list is friends. A goal for the friends category that I had in years past that never got to accomplish was to travel with my friends. Crazy similar to traveling with my brother, I know. But now that most of my friends and I are all adults, kind of have our own lives and jobs and are no longer forced to be all around the same campus, it gets harder and harder to find time to hang out. Now, this is taking hanging out to a crazy extreme by traveling somewhere new together. But when I came up with this goal, I didn't necessarily expect it to be some wild international adventure. I just want to be able to see new places, try new foods, and have that shared and close bonding experience. My next friends category is also pretty similar to my standing family date. I want to have a standing friends date as well. Also, hopefully monthly. Like I said, when we all left college and a few of us moved to different cities for work or what have you, it got a lot harder to see each other and catch up. And it's nobody's fault. You just have your own schedules and you get busy with your own adult life. 
but I feel like if I had standing dates with my friends monthly, it would give us that opportunity to be able to see each other, even for something as small as like getting dinner with one another. Now, I haven't exactly put this into practice yet, but again, it's my hope to maintain these relationships as the year goes on. Now let's talk about my third category, work. Last year, I made a goal for myself in my manifest list to become a travel writer. I've been doing a lot of travel in the last two years, specifically domestically, trying to visit all 50 states, which if you didn't know, I recently accomplished. And since doing that, I've been trying to find ways to sort of turn that passion into a job, primarily to be a travel writer. I've been doing a lot of research in the last couple of months on how to become a travel writer, how to perfect my pitch, which magazines and websites and other platforms to pitch to, and also to come up with the story ideas that are unique to my experiences. Hopefully in 2023, I can accomplish this goal by publishing at least one to two articles a month. I'm also hoping these won't just be on my blog and that I'll be able to get a wider audience through bigger platforms. My plan for this is in the very early stages, so we'll see what happens. But that's the manifest. The second thing I'm manifesting in the work category is to be successful at making these blog videos. If you couldn't tell already, I'm not a professional at this. This isn't my forte. I'm much better at coming up with the ideas for blog posts and writing them out. But the hope is that I can not only be consistent with having a video in each blog post, but to hopefully also increase quality in the videos that I'm producing. Basically what I'm trying to say is that hopefully by the end of 2023, the content in the videos will be better. I'll get better at talking to the camera and also I'll get better at editing the videos. The next category on the list is money, somewhat connected to the work category. I'm gonna start with my new goal for the money category, not the one that I had on a previous manifest list. I'm gonna start with this one because it's kind of tied to the work category. My new manifest for money is going to be to open a business bank account. I'm hoping to really take my business to the next level with more than just blog posts. I talked a little bit about how I wanna start travel writing a lot more in the new year. And because I have all of these plans to really grow my business, I'm gonna need a business bank account. My second money goal that I got from a previous manifest is to open a retirement account. Now, before you come at me, I'm pretty sure I already have one. I think I had this goal in my 2021 manifest and I wanna say I opened one or maybe started the process to. The point is whether or not I already have one, I should at least probably check on that whole situation. As a freelancer, I don't have an employer to do the whole retirement fund process for me. So that's all on me. And it's something that I definitely need to be checking up on since I'm getting up there into my late 20s. Better to start planning for retirement early so it doesn't become more of a burden later on in life. My next manifest category is home. Everything related to home, buying a new home, where you're gonna live, decorating your home. Speaking of decorating, both of my manifests for the home category are under sort of a decorating subcategory. A previous one that I had on an older manifest list is to decorate for the holidays. Now, after I graduated from college, I moved back in with my parents in my hometown to kind of buy myself some time and figure out the next steps that I wanted to take. Then a lot of things happened with the global health crisis going on in the world that were still now just coming out of. So I ended up staying home a lot longer than I thought I would. And then once I started traveling more, it didn't make much sense for me to get my own place to live where I would have to pay rent 
even though I wasn't going to be there half the month. So that goal was a little bit hard for me to accomplish in years past. But now that I have a more stable place to live, I would love to start decorating for the holidays more. I really love the process of going out and getting decorations for the holidays and filling my house with holiday cheer. And I'm not just talking about Christmas or New Year's. I also love Halloween, Fourth of July, even the small ones like St. Patrick's Day. I want to be able to get a couple of decorations stashed away for this year so that I can build on those collections in years to come. My next home manifest is to decorate my home office. As you can see, there's not a lot going on here. I have one thing hanging, some flowers, and the rest of the room is pretty much a mess. I've got boxes and lots of things on the floor, no shelves, like this desk and the chair that I'm sitting on are pretty much the only office items that I really have in this room. But like I said, because now I have a more stable place to kind of live and work out of, I would love to make this home office feel just a little bit more comfortable. And hopefully that'll help me be more productive as well. Okay, I think I skipped around a little bit, so I'm gonna backtrack and go into the health category. So something that I've had in my health category in years past was starting and maintaining a nighttime routine. I have a really good morning routine. I know what I need to do in the mornings to set myself up for a happy, positive, and productive day. My nighttime isn't exactly the same way. I know that a lot of people say your morning routine starts with what you do at night, so you should start then to set yourself up for success for the next day. And part of me does believe that there are things that I wanna make sure that I'm doing in the nighttime to help make my mornings a little bit easier. Like a big thing, for example, is taking out my contact lenses. I am so, so nearsighted that I hate taking them out before going to bed. Like they are the last activity that I do before getting into my bed because I can't see anything. But because I like it to be the last thing I do, it often falls by the wayside and I end up just crawling into bed, forgetting that I have to do it, not wanting to get out of bed. It's just a whole crazy deluge of not getting it done. And so for 2023, I want to make sure that I am getting it done and that I make that a part of my nighttime routine. Plus a couple of other things, making sure I take off my makeup, changing into my pajamas, and hopefully building up to reading a book and drinking a cup of tea before bed every night. Something that I used to do when I first had this goal. The other goal that I have on my health list is to try a new physical fitness activity. I want this to be something like yoga, rock climbing, kickboxing, whatever kind of new physical activity that I can add to my just daily routine would be great. I say new because I kind of like the new experience of trying something that I haven't tried before. The ultimate goal is to find something that I really like to maintain throughout the year and further. Okay, we are nearing the end of the manifest list. Our next category is travel. With all of the traveling I've done, specifically solo traveling, I've actually never been anywhere alone internationally. Traveling solo a lot domestically, I've stayed in a bunch of different hostels, but I feel like the United States isn't exactly set up for hostel or backpacking culture, which is why I really want to experience that type of culture in an international destination. On my travel manifest list, I would love to stay in a hostel abroad. I really just want to experience being in the same environment as other backpackers and other people from different countries as well. I want to get that hostile life, staying in my dorm room, putting my backpacks in a locker, hanging out with the people that I met at the hostel bar. That's just something for me as a solo traveler, I think it just feels like something that I need to experience. Somewhat related, my other travel manifest goal is to travel to a new 
international destination. The hope is that it's a new destination. I think my next step after having been everywhere domestically is to start expanding into international travel, which means that I would really love to see a new country. And 2023 feels like the year to do it. Next on my manifest list is the love category. I think last year in 2022, that manifest list was the first manifest that I had written when I was actually in a relationship. My previous manifests from years before that, I wasn't at the time writing that manifest list. So last year's manifest love category had me really thinking about love goals that I could make that weren't go on a new date, go on a blind date, try a dating app that were more centered on not finding love, but maintaining the love that I already had. This year is similar. So my two manifest goals for the love category are to make at least one new couple friend, which was actually on last year's manifest as well. We did accomplish it last year, which kind of feels a little bit like a cheat because the previous ones that I included from all the other categories were ones that I hadn't accomplished already. But you could always make new friends, right? There's always room for a new couple friend. So make a new couple friend is on the list. And then the new one that I came up with for my 2023 manifest is to manifest together. I really love this process of writing out all of my nine categories and thinking about the areas in my life that I would like to improve. Maybe also even the areas in my life where I'm happy and would like to continue maintaining that positivity and happiness in said category. And I would love to be able to do that with my partner. I think manifesting together can really help build and strengthen that relationship that you have with your partner and also could be a great date night idea. Okay, the last category that I have on my manifest list is fun and self. Fun and self being one category. A new thing that I came up with for this category of the manifest list is to do something for myself monthly. Kind of like standing family dates and standing friend dates. I think it would also be very, very cool to have a standing self date. I don't really know what this is gonna look like, but at least once a month, hopefully working up to once a week, I can have just a night or a day to myself. I think it's super important to maintain that kind of self-love and that kind of passion for being alone and doing things alone and being able to enjoy it without the company of other people. And my second goal for the fun and self category and my last goal on this manifest list is of course to pet a penguin, always. If you're new here, you may not understand that reference, but those of you who have been there a while know what I'm talking about. Penguins are my favorite animal and I always wanted to pet one. Pet slash feed, preferably in like Antarctica, but you know, a zoo penguin could be cool too, but I always put it on the list. And even after I accomplish it, I probably will still continue putting it on the list. But because it's been on the list since I first started manifesting, it's just kind of turned into a running joke that this is something that I'm gonna have on the list forever and ever. Those are my 18 manifest goals for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about my structure for 2023, the kind of things that I want to accomplish. I think it was fun to be able to share these things with you. On occasion, I'll share things with you about what I want to accomplish with the blog, but I also think it's fun to get just a little bit personal and share with you the things that I want to accomplish in my own life as well. I also hope that this helped you maybe come up with ideas for your own manifest list. If you missed any of the things that I said I wanted to accomplish in 2023, you can find them below in the rest of the blog post. I hope you guys enjoyed this first post of 2023 and this first post of the first season of the blog. The season is just starting and I've got a lot more in store for you. So make sure to subscribe to the blog if you haven't already and follow me on socials for all of 
the behind the scenes content. And that's all I have for you. I will see you guys in next week's post. Bye.